Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a comparison between two wool coats that I have purchased fairly recently. One is the Mederic from Cezanne, and the second is the Boyfriend coat from The Curated. So these two coats on the surface are fairly similar, which is why I thought they would make a good comparison video. They're slightly different price points depending on where you're based. So again, it is useful to compare the two and see if in your region, one is more expensive than the other and which one I think is of a higher quality. So we'll start off with the specifications of each coat and then we'll go into the comparison. I'll show you some side-by-side -side shots of what they look like on me, the lengths, the fit, the fabric, etc. Let's start with the Cezanne coat. This is the Mederic on their website and it comes currently in four different colours. I have the navy, which is a very dark, almost black navy shade. They also do an olive green, a camel, and they've just introduced a lighter blue to the collection as well. This one in the UK retails for £370, making it cheaper than the curated one I have. However, I know there are some anomalies with the price. I know that, for example, in the US, the Cezanne coat is significantly more expensive at $485. That actually ends up making it more expensive than most of the curated coats. So that is something to bear in mind. If you're in a different country, you might want to double check the prices because both of them do change quite considerably depending on your location. Back to the Cezanne coat. It's 100% wool and it's a double faced wool, which means that it doesn't have a traditional lining that you would find in most coats. These linings are usually made of things like polyester, viscose, or on the higher end, even silk. Um, but this instead has the outer layer of wool and then stitched onto that, it has another layer of the same wool. So it's a double faced wool. This allows it to drape slightly more fluidly on the body. The lining doesn't make it as structured um, and I don't think it will massively impact the warmth. Obviously you've got two layers of wool there, so it might be even a little bit warmer than if it just had one with a traditional viscose lining, for example. I've personally come to really appreciate these double-faced wool coats um, that don't have the lining. I, I don't know what it is about them. They're just very fluid on the body. They feel quite light, but still quite warm. And the shape of them just tends to be really nice. I do know that some people would prefer a lining though. So it is something to bear in mind if you're considering either one of these coats because they are both comprised of that double faced wool. The Cezanne one is fairly simple in its design. It is a long sort of mid calf coat on me. It has two basic pockets on the front and a belt tie round the middle. This is attached via loops with buttons as well. And it also has some buttons on the cuffs. So those are the main details of this coat. Let's move on to the coat from the curated. So the first thing to say about this coat is that unlike the Cezanne one, this actually comes in its own dust bag. Um, I think that's what this is called. Um, this thing to protect it, which is obviously nice because it is quite a premium coat. So taking it out of the bag to show you, it is this gorgeous camel, rich camel color. Now this coat comes in five or six different colors. They do go in and out of stock quite regularly. The Curated is definitely a slow fashion brand, so they don't hold huge amounts of stock um, in order to prevent waste. So a lot of the time this coat will be on pre-order and you'll have to wait maybe a month to get it. This one is the boyfriend style. They do three different coat styles. There's the classic, which is a slightly more fitted, shorter coat, although still a similar length, but slightly shorter. This is the boyfriend, which is designed to be an oversized version of the classic. It's slightly longer, slightly boxier. And then they have the London coat, which is based on a traditional London coat style, and that has buttons at the front. I went for the boyfriend because I like an oversized fit, I like a casual style, and I was worried that the classic might be a little too short on me. I like my coats to kind of be as long as possible, and so I knew that the classic comes up just a little bit shorter. They do recommend sizing up in the classic as well, so that's something to bear in mind if you're interested in that one over the boyfriend coat that I'll be reviewing today. So the colours this comes in are all neutral colours, unlike the Cezanne one, which comes in slightly more interesting and unique shades. So if you're more of a colourful dresser, you might want to go with the Cezanne one, either maybe the olive or the lighter blue shade. If you prefer your neutrals, then either is covered, but you're going to have more options with the curated. So this is the camel. They also do a black, a navy, a grey, 
Um, I think they do a bone colour in this style, so that's a, a off-white with an undertone of pinky purple almost, and a couple of different ones depending on the style. I know the classic comes in a chocolate colour, which is lovely, um, and then some of them might come in a, in a couple of additional shades, but you're looking at neutrals predominantly. Something to note about the boyfriend coat from the Curated is it does come with a tie, but it isn't actually attached by any loops to the coat, so it is completely separate. They do include two bits of material, so you can make your own loops or you can get your tailor to do it for you. I personally find this a little bit annoying. I know they have changed this. I think it might be for the classic. It now comes with belt loops attached um, after listening to customer feedback, but apparently the boyfriend doesn't yet. Unless it's just the one I the one I got. I'm not entirely sure, but I find it a little bit annoying. I know it's helpful in the sense that you can get them placed exactly where you need them for your height, but I personally would just rather they were already attached. It is really simple. It's even simpler than the Cezanne one in its design it doesn't have any buttons, it doesn't have any cuff detail, it does have the pockets similar to the Cezanne one on the front of the coat. In terms of material, this one is actually a wool cashmere blend, so it's 70% uh, wool, 30% cashmere, as opposed to the Cezanne one which is just 100% wool. But again, it is that double-faced material, so you don't have a lining, you have the two faces of the wool cashmere blend. In terms of sizing, I got mine, I didn't say for the Cezanne one actually, I got my Cezanne one in a UK 10, which is my true size in coats, and I got the curated boyfriend coat in a size medium, which again would be my true size in coats. You can see from the cutaways, at least I, I think you can, I haven't filmed them yet, but I think that the curated one fits slightly baggier and slightly looser than the Cezanne one. I would say the Cezanne coat is very true to size. It's comfortable on me in a size 10, but it doesn't really look oversized. Whereas the boyfriend coat in a size medium is slightly bigger, slightly boxier, um, and I would say the sleeves are also a little bit wider and longer. I would say I definitely could have sized down in the boyfriend coat to a size small. I don't think I would choose to, I think I would stick with the medium because again I like that slightly oversized look. But if you wanted a more fitted look, I would say you'd probably be better going with the classic coat rather than choosing the boyfriend which is supposed to be oversized, but if you liked the boyfriend for whatever reason then you could size down one size. With the Cezanne coat I would say stick to your usual size. In terms of pricing, the curated one in the UK is more expensive than the Cezanne one. So the Cezanne one was 370, the curated one for the boyfriend style is 480. So it's over a hundred pounds more than the Cezanne one. Obviously there are a few different reasons for that. It is a slower fashion brand, so naturally they are probably going to price their items slightly higher. Um, it is also blended with cashmere, which will be one of the main reasons why it is more expensive. A wool cashmere blend is more premium than just a 100 100% wool fabric and I can say from feeling both of them the curated one is definitely considerably softer than the Cezanne one to touch. Neither of them are itchy at all, I would say both of them are a zero on the itch scale which is fantastic and a bit of a relief because something that's 100% wool does have the chance to be itchy but these aren't at all but I would definitely say to the touch because of the cashmere the curated one is ever so slightly softer but they're both still really nice to wear and I don't really have complaints about either of them. Both of them are constructed really similarly actually. If you look at them, I, I can't see massive differences in the quality of the coats. Um, both of the pockets are stitched on really nicely. Um, all of the seams are really neat on both of the coats. The Cezanne one has um, a Cezanne label as you would expect. The curated one actually doesn't have a label interestingly. It does have a care label, um, but it doesn't have a label here where you might expect a branded one, which does suggest to me that it may, might be white labelled. If you don't know what that is, I'll leave some information down below, but interesting that it doesn't have any branding. I guess all we have left to do is try them on. So you can see from the cutaways what both of the coats look like on me. I have to say I love them both. I think that the Cezanne one is slightly more tailored, slightly more fitted, but still a really comfortable, loose, casual style for a tailored coat. I think not having the lining helps that as well. I think it just makes it look a little bit more casual, a little bit more effortless, and it flows and drapes really beautifully. Similarly with the curated one, again, it flows beautifully. It is really soft to the touch, but it is slightly boxier and more oversized. The colors are both gorgeous, classic coat colors. I don't have any complaints. I think the navy suits me a little better. I don't think I massively suit camel colors, but I love a camel coat so much that I don't care if it clashes with my skin tone or washes me out, I'm still gonna wear it all the time. 
So ultimately, which one would I recommend? It's a really tricky decision because they're both beautiful. They're both lovely quality and stunning investment pieces for your wardrobe. I think you'll be happy with either, no matter which one you pick. If you're looking for a wider range of colors, then the curated has you sorted, unless you're looking for the more unusual colors, in which case you might want to go to Cezanne. If you're looking for the softest of the bunch, then the curated wins hands down. However, if you're looking for slightly more design details, like the buttons and the attached belt loop, then the Cezanne one wins in that category. Price point, it's really difficult to say because the Cezanne one is obviously considerably cheaper in the UK. If you're based in the UK, I think if I was going to buy another one, I would go back to Cezanne. Not because I don't love the curated one, I do, and I love supporting a smaller business, but the Cezanne one is over £100 cheaper, and I don't think there's necessarily a £100 difference in the quality, although I do love the little bit of cashmere in the curated one. If you're in the US where the curated one is actually cheaper than the Cezanne one, which is kind of crazy considering the composition, I would 100% go to the curated. I think you're getting a slightly more premium fabric, you're getting a slightly more premium experience as well coming in the dust bag and being from a smaller business um, and overall I think it's just nice to save that money and not notice any concernable difference in quality. But overall, I think you're gonna love either one. I will leave links to both of them down in the description box below. I would highly recommend either, whatever your preference is, whatever your price point is. I think a double-faced wool coat like this is a fantastic addition to a classic wardrobe. These are never gonna date. They're never gonna go out of style. They're always gonna look gorgeous. And hopefully being that higher quality, they're gonna last for many years to come. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. You'll be seeing these coats plenty more on my channel and on my Instagram where I've been doing more styling content so make sure to follow me over there if you're interested and I'll see you tomorrow for another fashion video.